Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 5 of Direwolf20's server play series on Forgecraft 2. I'm heading back to my base, because I've got a bunch of cool stuff to do. I am not... what? What is going on? Is there a lag on the... Why do I see blocks above my base? Why do I feel like Way of Time did something terribly rude and mean to me? Did you put like a barrier around my base so I can't get to it? Why would someone do that? Because they're mean and terrible. Oh, snap. Yeah. I went Harsh. there. I went there. I don't know. Um, see, I see I all these runes that I know are from your mod. And they're I don't floating. have a problem going near your base. You don't have a problem going near my base. You're the one who did it. <laughs> I'm going to walk very slowly. Ah, it still doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should come over to this wall over here. I feel like I can't get there. I'm sure you'll be able to find a way. I'm pretty sure I won't. Would it be a wager time? What? Who Those do? words didn't even make sense. <laughs> it's a dad joke. Why are you gonna be so mean? Because it's Pahamar. You are just probably my least favorite person right now. Thank you. Hey, we've got an Ari on the server. Hi! So I need planar binding? So does that mean... Oh, okay. So I can get to my base again. <laughs> so I can get up there and disable this by breaking these runes. Is that correct? Yeah, but I helped uh, give you a little something. Okay. Apply redstone signal equals safe now. Yep. Interesting. I really have to start messing around with blood magic. Yeah, knowing so my satanic. luck, you're probably... Knowing my luck, you're probably going to construct one of these near me. Well, I mean, you initiated this. Just keep that in mind. Oh, it's on now. <laughs> it apparently is. <laughs> so you say... Nothing. I'm wondering if Dyer can best on what he did to uh, certain uh, pigs. To who what? And to a certain pig in this room. Ijun? Yes. Yeah, I did things to Ijun. I did, I did mean things to Ijun. <laughs> yes, and I was laughing hysterically when I had fun. Nice. So, Palomar, are you actually like logging into Forgecraft? In a quick moment, I wanted to fix something first. Ooh. Pahamar on Forgecraft? Potentially. What is this madness? Madness. Everyone's here today. I know. Well, it's it's one of those we just reset the server so everybody plays on it for a while, periods of time. Yeah. Then Can no I just tell you that I hate logging on to Forgecraft 2 because it's so hard. Like, it is. it's always on way harder mode than the other servers, it feels like, and so I die, and it makes me want to, like, just quit. Rage quit. Because it's usually vanilla entities going all berserk. Namely the zombies. They go ham on this server. The zombie ham? API is never yeah. mod dev's favorite. Full on ham. Dude, Full on. Pahamar, go go mm. on Urban Dictionary and Google going ham. You know what? Whenever you say anything that I don't understand, it's the first place I go. Is it? Mm. Ham. It is. Okay. Because ever since Hooge, I just, I, I don't even. What? Staying out of conversation for fear of scariness. Wait, what was the word I said to you? Hooge. Oh, Hoosier. Yeah, Hoosier, that's Hooge. it. Yes, yeah, we were Hooge. discussing the freedom train. Woo woo. Yeah. People are Hooges. Apparently. So, is Soren surprised. here still? He was here. He went Soren. to get food. Oh, yes, he says yeah, food. Gang food. Okay, cool. Um, so, let's see. There's a couple things I want to get started on today. I know Soren's been messing around a little bit with pneumatic craft, and I wouldn't mind getting started on that. Let's see where he's gotten. So he's got a pressure chamber set up. He's got an air compressor set up. I kind of want to build my own. Maybe I won't use his. What's he got going on over here? Oh, plastic 
rain plant seeds. Okay. So he's doing some plastic sheet stuff. He's got apparently a transfer node that goes, oh, probably into the side. So this is probably his input and export chest. Okay. Not cool. That's cool. I like that. Not too shabby. And what are you working on, Ari? Um, I'm mining right now to try to get some materials. Cool. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and I just finished a very noob house. It is a nine by nine, though. So. Oh, good. So it's not noob at all. No, it's super noob. Nah, it's <laughs> totally not noob. Would you say it's yeah. hoosier? No, it's not. That would be a modular oh. build. It's not modular. I'm making an awesome pickaxe. Ooh, what kind? Manulin. What color is it? Purple. I'll give you credit for that. That sounds Close awesome. Close enough, right? Yeah. Though, in order to get Manulin, I needed to get Alumite, which is pink. Uh, yeah, me and Alumite are friends. Oh, God! So I've Every got time my you first... say it like that, I imagine this yeah. epic reaction yeah. face. The same mining level as What's that? That steel is the same mining level as Alan. I haven't looked at that cave in a while. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I do want to get a hammer, though. I need to go get some more cobalt for that. Because I, I would like to like... have a cobalt hammer. Sorry. Seems like someone had an accident on your wall. With the bright cobblestone? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to assume that was Soren. I'm not 100% sure. Seems like something yeah, Soren would have done. It's called painted stone. It doesn't do very much, but like, paint on walls. Hey, works for me. Alright, guys, so let's see. I did also want to look a little bit more at the um, the Batania mod. So let, let me go flip through the Batania book and see if I can find something that would be very useful for me right now that I can show you from Batania. And then we'll be back. All right, guys, oh. we're back, and uh, I need to get a little bit more of this living wood for Batania, so I'm going to let that start cooking up and show you guys what I'm going to work on. But in the meantime, I want to say hi to Mr. Lemming. King Lemming! Hey, what's up? Hey, man, how have you been? Swamped, busy, but not bad. Cool. Very yeah, cool. deep in assembly. Just lounging around, <laughs> eating craft dinner and hot dogs. You know, I could have sworn I found more gold than I... Am finding in my chest. I'm wondering if Soren's been stealing all my gold. Would anybody be surprised if Soren was stealing my gold? I would be more surprised if he didn't have already 76,000 different bricks of gold, but. He's probably just using them for the floor of his house or something. Oh, really? I'd be surprised if he wasn't stealing the gold. I have to smelt this stuff. I, I'm four ingots. Yeah, I think that's probably like all I had too, isn't it? Well, where's the rest? I don't see any gold. You defer me to sorting? Okay, if you say so. Hey, I've got a gold ingot. That's cool. In the meantime, I might have gotten what I need to get. Yay, it's there. Cool. So the living wood is ready. Soren, are you logging in or are you just going to hang out and chat? Soren's out of town, so we don't have access to his mighty voice. So I need another mana spreader. I think I can use any color flower, right? Yeah, Batania Mana Splatter. So that's cool. And then I need some Living Rock. Oh, that's right. That's not the kind of table you can just leave things in. Some Living Rock. And then I need to turn this diamond into a Mana Diamond. dum de dum 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 Drop. Hooray! Mana Diamond. Look at it go. And then my Mana Spreader is... Recharging the mana pool, because that used up a bit of mana from the pool, so now everything's kind of activating again, and 
refilling and doing all kinds of cool stuff. That's awesome. I did decide on something I want to make, but in order for it to work, I need a little bit of infrastructure. Yeah, that's right, Soren. You better, uh-oh. Runic Altar. So, from what I understand, if I want... Doesn't it, though? I'm going to put this here. I still haven't figured out the whole mana spreader thing. Hey, don't steal my mana spreader, zombie. Give that back. That's right. I haven't figured out how to, like, re-aim the mana spreader too well. Oh, that's fancy looking. Sharing power to items. What is it doing? What's happening? Accepting power from items? Zombie incoming. Zombie indeed. Are you throwing items at me over there? Can't be. Well, items were appearing out of nowhere, so I wasn't sure if it was you or what the deal was. So there's a way I to... The zombie, I think the zombie has a bone to pick with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Yay for boots. Feather falling. Ah, uh, there's a way to link this so that he starts feeding, or he gets mana from the mana pool, I think. Let me just figure out how to do that. Alright guys, I think I figured it out. Uh, I think you have to place the mana spreader right next to the mana pool. I, th I thought it would be able to like get it from a range, but I don't think it can. I think it actually has to go right next to it. Cool. Alright, so this guy's getting stuff then, I presume? So now I want to make a rune. Now that I have the runic altar, I want to make a rune. So the the tool or the item that I want to make looks pretty neat, and it's actually probably going to be pretty helpful. It's under baubles and accessories, and it's called the pyroclast pendant, um, which is going to protect me from lava and fire. So that sounds like a good time, right? So I'm going to need another uh, mana diamond, so that shouldn't be too hard to get. Then I need a rune of fire and a rune of summer. So a rune of fire is mana steel, blaze rod, gunpowder, and nether wart. Wow, that's... Brutal. I don't think I have, like, half of that. Pretty sure I wouldn't have nether wart. Hey, Quetzal, are you still around? Yeah, he left a while. Did he? Okay, good. Then I'm going to his base to steal stuff. And a mana steel, I think, is just iron inside the mana pool, so that's not too bad. So a blaze rod and nether wart. Gunpowder I've got. So let's see. I'm, I'll definitely need one of these, and I'll definitely need one of these. I just want to try out this process because it looks cool. Gunpowder. There you go. And then for the Rune of Summer, oh, I need a Slime Ball, which I think I have because I found a Slime. Two Sand. Oh, we've got some Concealed Slime here, so that's cool. I think Soren found that. Oh, I need a uh, Watermelon. Alright, let me get the items I'm going to need here, guys, because um, I apparently also need a Rune of Earth and a Rune of Air, so I'll manage to get that, too. All right, I think I've got everything I need here. So first few things I'll need are some more of these mana steel ingots, which, by the way, you can use to make tools and armor, and they do cool stuff, which we'll probably check out pretty soon because my armor as it is is getting pretty weak. All right, so let's see. The first one I want to try is carrot, feather, carpet, mana steel. So I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I think I have to right-click on this guy. Oh, there we go. Mana steel, carpet... Feather, carrot. Okay, cool. And then I think I have to hit it with the wand of the forest. I think it's actually shooting mana into there. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's neat. Have you guys seen this whole runic altar thing? No. It's pretty fancy. I believe it. Um, and I believe I have to right click. Um, yeah, once it's done. It should be apparent when the altar has received enough mana. When that happens, just drop a piece of living rock on top of it and use the wand to collect your rune. Okay, so I need 
some living rock, which I have some of inside the base. That's a neat little crafting mechanic he's got going on there. Where are you, Ari? I see you. Do you? Yeah. Hey, yeah, that worked. Nice. That's cool. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Come visit. I'm right here. Check out this cool Hello. process I'm doing. So earth is stone, mana steel, what was that? Um, I was going Oh, this is the altar you were talking about. Yeah, nifty, right? This is yeah. uh this is the Batania mod. You like make magical flowers and they do cool stuff. I have a rainbow of all of the flowers planted right in front of my house, which is just right next to you. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, mushroom is what I needed. All right, you ready? Check this out. Oh. See? It looks like Casper. And then that happens. You see those green particle effects? Yeah. And then this cool stuff happens. Keep watching. Oh, see the lightning? Is it going lightning? into that like tub thing? User left your channel. No, it uh, it's drawing energy from that tub thing. Oh, okay. So what's it doing? It's basically crafting. I think I have to do that and then. There oh, we go. oh, I see it. Okay, so it kind of works just like the altar does in witchcraft. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's, it's like a crafting okay. mechanic, basically. Like, you put the items on there, and it draws in energy from that little blue pool of mana, and then it, it crafts. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah it is. How are you alive with, like, just no walls? You don't even have a house. I have a house. It's over there. Okay. Look for the gigantic 9x9 nine nine piles. Of no. Piles yeah, I know. My 9x9 nine nine is just right over here. Straight out, straight to the right, not until morning. This way. <laughs> I, might I think it's getting to be zombie house. time, by the way. I don't want a creeper to sneak up on me while I'm doing Ooh. this. Do I, I like zombie, zombie time. time. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep time. That's what I got going on. I can run back to my house and go to sleep, too. If you want. You can see the rainbow all the way from your like, all the way from here. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Way left the game, so we're good now. All right, so this thing should be done. So again, drop this on top. And I've got my Rune of Summer. All right, now I need to go get the Blaze Rod and the Nether Wart, which I assume Quetzi will have some, and he probably won't mind if I borrow one of each. I'll be back in a minute. Mess up I'm battling the Blazes. Oh boy, lots of Blazes. This will not end well for me. Hey, I got a Blaze Rod. I'm happy. I'm out of here. Just want you all to see what Soren wrote. All right, guys, one more crafting process to do here, and this guy, go. Cool. That's nifty. I like the little floating thingies going on here, too. Looking good. All right, that should be it. And then, all right, so he needs to do something about me having to drop that item down, because I am terrible at dropping that. All right, so I think I've got the Rune of Summer, the Rune of Fire. That's what I need, right? And now I can get my fire thing. Um, cool. So the wearer becomes completely impervious to any fire or lava damage. So that should make me immune to blazes, right? Uh, should. I think the contact damage might be something else, though. It is, yeah. That's okay, though. That I'm not too worried about. Because now I can go get more blaze rods if I need to and not have to worry as much about the whole process. It was something like this, wasn't it? Summer, fire, mana. Hooray, Pyrocraft Splendid, equipable in the amulet slot. So did Thaumcraft add this amulet slot, or how did that work? Uh, yes, Thaumcraft, uh, Azenor made it an API called Bobbles. 
and Vasky decided to uh, go with it as well. Cool. So Vasky added his own baubles, basically. Correct. All right, so I should be immune to fire damage now because I'm wearing an amulet. Look at me. And I'm yeah, assuming I'm it's like... I don't know, I like the inventory tabs, personally. Inventory tabs cool, too. There's room for in this world for both. I don't think, though, that the ball bolt, that the inventory tab shell with the ball bolt is the problem. I think you need two different, inter two different keys for them. Uh, yes, the inventory tab does not show up when you open with bobbles. So, I'm ready to walk into fire and see what happens. I am surviving! This is cool. Hey, Cobalt, I need that stuff. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, I don't need it that badly. It's over a scary place. Mr. Way of Time, wow, you're moving quick. How's it going, buddy? Hello. Doing good. Is that one of your things that's letting you jump around a lot? Yeah. What is it, like rapid running or jumping or...? Um, it's called the Air Sigil. Oh, cool. So it's kind of like a dash ability. Nice. You know, there's apparently... There's Sojourner's Sash. This lets you run and jump faster. And it requires a Rune of Air and a Rune of Earth. That's probably not too bad. Yeah, I could make another set of this stuff. These are easy to make. I want to try that out, the Sojourner's Sash, and see how well it works. Back in a moment. All right, guys, we're back, and I just did everything I needed to do. So I've got my Rune of Earth, I've got my Rune of Air. I'm actually interested to see how much of a run speed and jump speed boost this gives you. So I think I need some leather, right? So I've got a good amount of that. And the recipe is... Oh good, it's a regular old crafting recipe, so I should be able to shift click it. Awesome. Well, that's not bad at all. It definitely gives you like it's not a huge boost, but it's also not hugely expensive either, so it's kind of nice. It's it's maybe on par, but not totally. Oh, it also gives you uphill step. That's nice too. Did you make me faster? Did I make you faster, Ari? Somebody made me faster. Yeah, I'm also faster. It wasn't me. Yeah. Sweet. I'm almost over. What did you so, do? So this is a very powerful sash. Hold on. Let's see if it uh if it stops. Are you guys Put it back, back on. on. Put it back on. <laughs> Turn it back on for a sec. Is it? Is everybody slow again? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's Turn awesome. And back on. Oh good. <laughs> now I'm fast again. Yeah, he's um, forgetting a check somewhere. <laughs> hey, here's a question. Can you guys get damaged in fire? Oh, actually, let's test. I'll go into the nether to test that. Well, I can just light a fire on the ground here. Oh, sure. You setting me on fire steel. sounds like a good idea. I'm so quick! Also jumping higher. You jump higher and you have oh, uphill yeah. step. So you step over one, one tall block. I'm like a gazelle. <laughs> I'm not getting the step assist myself. Oh, you're not? No. Is anybody else getting the uphill step? No, I'm not. Interesting. All right, cool. I'm definitely getting uphill step. Could it be dimension lock? There you Light go. Light me on fire, good sir. Hmm. Yeah, you're taking well, fire damage. I'm taking fire damage. However, I'm not visibly on fire. You're visibly on fire to me. Huh, interesting. And I'm not taking damage, see? Oops, almost, had, almost forgot my uh, dome of suppression was on. Oh, what's that? Oh, the thing that gets rid of water? Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, it does that. That's cool. Sure, wanna use it yourself? Yeah, sure. So it suppresses any liquid? Yeah. How do I turn Go it on and off? It, it's right-click to turn it on and turn it off. Oh, okay. So whenever and I when go near water, it kind of backs it away. Yep. That's cool. But then when I move away, the water comes back after a few seconds? Give it time. That's cool. I like that. That's really neat. So that's one thing that like sometimes bothered me. Like I, I, I would like a way to temporarily just get this water out of my way. I would like to go over here now. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> and it removes both source and... Uh... Oh, that's neat. Both source and flowing? 
Yeah, I tend to use it in nether mining. Yeah, I can imagine. It'll do any liquid you said, right? Yep. I really have to start messing with blood magic. I keep on telling you. I know you do. It's on my to-do list. I have a long to-do list. All right. I'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys. We're back, and there's one more thing I want to make. I don't know if I have all the stuff to make it, but I might be able to pull it off. Um, one thing is I'm definitely going through a lot of food, and I'm probably going to blame Soren for that as well. So what's neat is that there's a functional flora that uses uh, mana. So some flowers create mana, and other flowers use mana. And this one um, will cause nearby plant life to grow at a faster rate. Um, now, it doesn't really specify exactly what the... Um, radiuses but i'll need a bunch of different types of petals and a rune of spring which is water and fire oh great i need a little blaze rod i might need to come back maybe i'll do that maybe i'll make this rune of spring next episode but there's definitely something i want to make right now that will make making the rune of spring that much better because the rune of spring needs mana right so we've got mana over here and we've got our farm over there so there's a couple ways we could do this if we had a mana spreader pointed in that direction it would actually shoot all the way over and eventually reach its target but it's got a lot of stuff to travel through as a matter of fact i never actually replanted my my farm so i should probably do that i know i was forgetting something there so we'll get that sorted in a minute um but what i want to do with it instead of having it travel this long distance which by the way the a long distance means mana loss in the end so you you want to kind of keep it shortish distance but there's a way to do basically like a mana battery, and that's what I'm going to craft right now. So first I want to make another mana pool. And then if you get some living rock around one of these mana diamonds, you get a mana tablet. And what I should be able to do then is, if I place this here, I think I figured out what that accepting and giving mana to items thing is about now. Sparing power to items, accepting power from items. I guess I want to do that. Is that getting stuff? It looks like it's doing something. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. So you just kind of put it on top and it kind of fills it with mana. That's neat. Oh yeah, it's draining a lot of the mana pool too. That's kind of good because it means it'll it'll go a long way. So this way, this yeah. mana pool can continue to run and do its thing. That's right, Soren. Drain all the mana. Soren's contributing a lot to this episode, as you guys can see. I think it's filled now. Yeah, it does look filled. So then I go over here and I can just say deposit mana, basically. Mm. Accepting power from items. There we go. Nice. That's kind of cool. Dang, that's, that's pretty, pretty fast. Good. Yeah. What's nice, too, is that it, he did actually like make the particles. Like This one looks like it's draining out and the other particles look like they were draining up. Hmm. Right? See how it's like draining down, kind of? Yeah, that's, that's quite cool. cool. Definitely yeah. a more particle-based magic. Yeah, very neat. And I'm going to assume that that's done. So now that the mana tablet is done draining, I'm actually going to fill it again, but I'm not going to fill the other pool with it. I want to let that fill up. What I wouldn't mind getting is a few more mana steel thingies. I'm going to try the boots, because they're the cheapest. And I should oh, be able to pull this off. It's actually changing texture. Is it? Nice. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm not a fan of any time I have to drop items into other items or blocks because Minecraft is really not good about dropping items. No. It's like I see that you're facing a direction, but I'm just going to drop it derpy like. So, mana yeah. steel boots. So, do me a favor, way. Yep. Hit me with something that's not going to do too much damage. I don't know if I have one of those. Well, then hit uh, me with something semi-decent. Okay, cool, yeah. So, notice that it drained mana out of the mana tablet. It drained a small amount, but it definitely drained it instead of damaging the mana steel boots. Go ahead and hit me again. I'm watching the meta value change. All right, not too... All right, now I'm kind of low on health, so... Quiet, Soren. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Soren's backseat driving this episode. Alright, one more time. Let's see if I survive. Yeah, so I think it's actually draining mana out of the mana tablet instead of damaging the item. 
So that's cool. All right, guys, for now, I think it's time to wrap up the episode. So that's what we'll do. We'll wrap up. We'll come back next episode. I want to try out that flower to help grow my wheat farm a little bit faster. And a few other things, of course. Plenty of work to get done uh, today. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and take it easy.